I love to get lost. I love the feeling of being lost, but the older I get, the harder it is to lose myself. I'm not really sure if it's because I am bigger so the world feels smaller or because over the years I've managed to build an awareness of where I am so that I cannot easily turn that sense off. Or maybe it's because of the way time works now. There always seems to be an awareness of when the next thing is, whether that be a meeting or just knowing that the darkness will be drawing in. However, today is the winter solstice. It's one of my favourite times of year because it tells me the sun is going to be coming back soon and somehow everyone else is so busy or so tired that I can disappear into the background. Sometimes I take the day to be with quiet people who, like me, enjoy being quiet together. Or at other times I find space to be on my own. Perhaps you could do this with someone you trust. It's yours and it's totally up to you. This is an invitation to get lost with me, to rediscover the world around you in an everyday way without having to really travel anywhere. A moment to sense the world, sense the space you're in and leave your imprint on it in a soft way. This is all an invitation. We'll be finished in 15 minutes But if it feels right, please feel free to pause my voice and explore anything that is capturing your curiosity further. Or just ignore the offers that follow. You know your body, you know your world, and I'd like to invite you to trust yourself for the next wee while. No need to force it or to expect too much. You don't need to do anything, perform anything, be anything or fulfil anything. Just being here is enough. Our only hope in this moment is to find ourselves perhaps a little more grounded when we're done. I'd like to invite you to find a space, a space that you can safely stand or sit in. This could be outside, inside, in a quiet corner. You may want to lean against something or not. If you try things one way and choose to change position, this is all really welcome. You can be seated or standing, leaning, or moving, but I'd like you to try and feel the earth beneath you. Feel the weight in your body. And if your body were a bag of sand, that sand would be slowly dropping down from the top of your head, all the way through your chest, through your hips and into your feet. Feel the weight of yourself on the ground and breathe. Don't force it. Just notice it. Feel the cold air coming in through your nose. And then as you exhale, feel the warmth that you're sending into the world. Notice the pace that you are breathing at. And without holding or changing the motion, can you slow this down ever so slightly? If it feels nice, Inhale and exhale a sigh, or perhaps short breaths. Feel more comforting. Can you feel your belly soft? Can you feel your back move? Can you feel your body widening as you take in the air around you? Within that breath, Just find those moments that feel enjoyable, that feel nourishing, that remind you, even in this stillness, that you're constantly moving quietly and instinctually in your place in the world. Now notice your eyes. Pay attention to the whole area around your eyes. Think not about what you can see, but what you can feel. Can you feel the tissue around your eye soften, as if your eye and everything that makes it work is taking a long, warm bath? With this, your gaze can soften. If you notice things, that's great. If you notice nothing, that is great too. You don't need to look for anything but just feel that softness taking over your eye area, up through your forehead and the spaces all around. If it feels safe, you can close your eyes. Sometimes 
you can detach your gaze without having to close the eyes at all. Can your eyes feel the sense of breath coming in and out of your body? And now expand that sense of breath. So it moves from the eyes across the cheekbones and to the outside of your head to your ears where you'll listen. Just take this time to notice the sounds around you. If you can, try not to judge any of these sounds. Nothing is trying to disturb you. The world is simply turning in the way that it does. Can you notice any of the soft sounds? Any of the sounds that are often masked by others which try and capture your attention? Where does the sound of your breath fit into this? Can you notice the silence? Can you notice the different qualities of the silence around you? And can you find one that is comfortable and comforting and that connects with how you feel today? As feelings come and go and things come and go out of your mind as you're doing this, feel free to name them. You could name a colour, you can name a feeling, you can name a sound. But once it's named, imagine that name floating off into the distance. Just acknowledging that everything around you exists and you exist within it. As you continue to breathe, can you notice the texture of your hands? Perhaps your hands feel cold, perhaps they feel warm or damp, or perhaps they're wrapped in something to keep them toasty. If it feels comfortable, you can start to move your fingertips, bringing them together and rubbing your thumb along them. You can amplify this motion so it starts to feel bigger or you can make it a little more intense and keep it small. The most important thing is that you're curious and that this movement isn't distracting you and you're not having to layer any thoughts over it. It's just a thing that is happening and a thing that you are choosing to do today in the world that is around you. Similarly, you can start to bring your toes to life, moving in and through your feet and extending this movement through the ankles, up through the wrists and maybe into the limbs. Where would your limbs like to go today? As you breathe in, can you imagine your muscles are breathing with you? Those muscles are being nourished and each has a mind of its own, its own curiosity as it tries to lead you into feeling the space around you. You can repeat movements that feel comfortable. You can re repeat movements that feel curious. Simply meet the space that you are in contact with. And find a place for your body to be where it feels held and supported. Perhaps your body feels most supported when in motion. And you extend the limbs through the space, finding length, finding curiosity and finding breath. Or perhaps you feel supported in stillness. Maybe this would be different on another day. But today you'll choose what feels right for you. Whatever the scale, how do these moving limbs change the motion of your spine? Can you give in to this movement and can you free your back? Can you allow all of those muscles that hold and carry you through the world to ease slightly as the breath comes in and out 
and the sound around you influences where your body may want to be. How free is your neck? Are your eyes still soft? Can you perhaps now look beyond the space immediately around you and find comfort in being small in the world and having this private moment where no one is judging you and you are not judging the world around you. If you are moving and moving expansively, let this continue in your body. Let it change as it feels natural. Can all of the changes of energy you make feel gradual? Just fading in and out, almost leaving no sense of when one started and when the other was fulfilled. And if the movement in your body is seemingly small, the movement of your breath, the steadying of your heartbeat, how does that influence your body? And how can you use that movement to just change energy as the world around you changes a little more. Can you notice the space between you and a piece of nature nearby? It could be a tree, it could be a weed popping up through the pavement crack or something you can see from your window. Can you sense it breathing? And can you notice how it moves ever so subtly? Imagine that you are moving with it. Can you let its energy wash over your body and influence how you move through the space? Can you really give in to your body now? Trust that it knows what it's doing and follow those feelings. A dance that is you in the world, whatever scale you want to be today, whatever your body is telling you to do, exactly where you should be. If something feels luxurious, remind yourself that it's allowed to. If something feels tempting, feel free to visit it and then retreat or follow it through. Now soften the gaze down for one final time and notice any sounds around you. Notice the moments of silence as you continue to move and find the body. Can you notice the qualities of these silences? Can you hear your own body within this picture of the world? Gradually, can you let these silences quieten your movement, coming together to coexist where one isn't dominating the other? You simply compromise because it feels nice to sit together. Once again, feel your breath. No need to force anything or change anything. Simply feel where the breath is in your body. Let this breath drop slightly more so you breathe into the bottom of the lungs. So you feel the motion of the back and the sides with the shoulders free neck loose and jaw soft. Let the breath guide you as you notice the contact you have with the space around you. Is there anything that is holding you up and can you trust it just a little more? Feel whatever is beneath you, hold your weight. Trust it as you breathe and now I will be quiet just for one minute to leave you to feel this, to leave you to feel your breath and to allow you to sense the world around you. You don't have to do anything in this time. Just simply be here and trust that being here is more than enough.
slowly can you start to bring your focus back to the day. Gently sense your fingers and your toes and the back of your neck and find yourself in the world again. Feel your breath coming in and out of your body. Feel your eyes soft in your head, willing to take things in. And feel the sounds around you coexisting without judgment. Find yourself here on a day when the sun is about to start returning. And go gently. <laughs>